Yo, what's happening people and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be trying something totally different and making a nice, chill, ambient guitar beat. I've been making a lot of hard beats like trap and drill recently and I just wanna give my ears a break from all the hard kicks and 808s. So yeah, I'm gonna be making something really ambient and mellow. If you're new to the channel, then make sure that subscribe button's grey and click the bell next to it too so you can be notified every time that I upload new content. Now with all that said, let's jump straight into it. For this beat, I wanted to start with an electric guitar, so I've gone to contact and I've picked out the electric sunburst from the session guitarist line. I've set my BPM to 95 and I've just been messing around with some chords and melodies, so I'm just going to go ahead and play something in. Now I'm just going to come into this clip, press Ctrl and A and Ctrl and U to quantize these notes. Now you'll see that when I do that, it actually quantizes the end of the notes, which I don't actually want. So I'm just going to drag these out so they overlap each other, which is going to make it sound a bit more human. Now the next thing I want to do is take all of these root notes and I'm going to copy them down an octave and this is just going to add some low end to the sample. Then of course, as I do with all of my guitar layers, I'm going to come in and add guitar rig and I'm going to choose my favourite preset, which is vocal space. Now on top of this, I want to add another layer of electric guitar, so I've chosen the Evolution Strawberry for this one. And I'm going to use this to just add a picking pattern on top of those chords that I've just laid down. Then I'm just going to come into my chords and copy this exact same guitar rig preset onto that picking pattern. So I just wanted to thicken out that low end a little bit so I've added a Scarby Rickenbacker bass and I'm using the dub bass preset. And all this is going to do is follow the root notes from the main chord progression. So the last thing that I want to add to this melody is a sort of lead line. So I've gone with the Telecaster guitar from the Ilya Efimov bundle. And I'm just going to use this layer mainly for something that I can introduce in the hooks and bridges. So I think that's all the melodic elements I'm going to add to this beat and I've arranged it out now so I've got a nice A section that can be used for verses, a B section that can be used for build ups and a C section that I can use for hooks. So I'm just going to go straight in on top of this and start adding some drums and I'm actually going to do this backwards so I'm going to start making the drums for my hook and then I can take pieces out to use for my verse and my bridge. <laughs>
So yeah, I've gone through and arranged this into a full beat and this one came out really chill, man. I don't think I've ever made anything like this before, but I actually really like it. So make sure that you let me know what you think of the beat in the comments. Now that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. Remember to let me know in the comments how you think the beat turned out. And if you learned anything new from today's video, then make sure to smash the thumbs up before you leave. If this was your first time on the channel, then do me a favor and make sure that subscribe button's gray too. Massive shout out to anybody that made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.